Hey guys, this is Marie, and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be how to make a hermit crab book. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you step by step how to make your own hermit crab book. So here we go. So as you guys can see the title of this video, this is going to be a super fun video and a project at the same time because I'm going to show you how to make your own hermit crab book. If you guys have multiple hermit crabs like I do, I have a total of seven. It is super hard to keep up with every single one in detail about your hermit crab. So this was the way for me to keep up with my hermit crab that I made my own little book to keep up with every single hermit crab and it was so much easier for me. So I wanted to go ahead and share this and put this on video and show you guys how to make your own hermit crab book and maybe this will be easier for you guys if you have multiple hermit crabs. So let's go ahead and show you step by step of each item that you're going to need for this project. Number one will be a binder notebook, and you can get these pretty much anywhere at a store. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Target, you can get them at Dollar Tree. Now, I suggest to go to Walmart because right now most of the school supplies are in, and you can get pretty much any school supply for under a dollar. So if you want to go ahead and stack up and get the stuff that you need for this little project, and I want it to be cheap and don't spend a lot of money, Go to Walmart and get all of your supplies there because you would be spending less than a dollar for every single item, probably except maybe the notebooks. I'm not sure how much those are, but if you don't want to get them at Walmart, you can definitely get them at Dollar Tree. Now, I just got a plain white one. You can get pretty much any one that you want, but the only reason why I got a plain white one was because it has this little plastic thing in the front where you can put something inside and I will show you later on in the video the reason why I like this and the reason why I got this one was because of the plastic so I'll show you guys that later now when you get a binder you're gonna need a three ring binder because you're gonna need to put your stuff inside of the binder and then you have also your like your little flat sides right here also but this is the binder that I picked is because of this and I will show you guys later on the reason why I picked this one. So that is number one that you would need. Number two will be you will need a dividers. Now you can get pretty much any dividers anywhere but Walmart was selling these for only 67 cents and I stacked up a lot of them. Because if you guys make mistakes you guys will have extras and also if a hermit crab absolutely passes away on accident or something happens to your hermit crab, you will have backup and you can go ahead and replace that one and put it in the new spot where the hermit crab was at. So that's why I like to have multiple uh, dividers. Now these are the ones that have the five tab dividers and these are just the clear ones. Um, they do have multiple color ones, but I like these because they're easier and I will show you the reason why I like these kind. So I got about four of those and I will show you later on the reason why I got four of those. So that is number two of what you would need. The next thing will be number three and that will be notebook paper. Now I like the wide rule because I write really big and neat so if you guys like this kind of type of paper, I would get this one. If not, they also have the college root. If you like to write small and more neater, then you can get that one. But all you need is one package of the notebook paper. Number four of the items that you would need will be either colored pencils and markers. Now I will show you the reason why I have both, but I'm only going to be using markers. If you don't like markers, you can also use colored pencils. It doesn't matter. And these were at Walmart and I got these less than a dollar. So definitely get them at Walmart if you can find them. And I get the fine line because they're the small tip ones and I like those and I will show you the reason why in a few minutes uh, why I got this kind. And then also the colored pencils have like, you know, the fine print, a uh, fine point too also. So I like those also. The next thing will be number five and it will be stickers. Now I got these stickers at Dollar Tree. So of course they're a dollar. And I just got ones that have like an owl and then I got ones that have smiley faces. And I will definitely show you later on in the video why I got these. The next thing I got is just a plain black pen and of course that was free because that I already had a pen and it was black. You can use either black or blue, it does not matter but I use black as my ink. 
So I have that one. Then the last thing you would need would be number six. And that will be some printer paper design kind. And I got these at Dollar Tree. So of course you get 40 sheets for $1. Now you guys probably noticed that I have already used a lot of this already. But I just wanted to show you what I had. So you got this design. Then I got this design, and then I got like a flower design. And I will show you a little bit the reason why I got those. So these are all the items that you're going to need to make your own little binder hermit crab book. So let's go ahead and show you the step-by-step -step of which things you're going to need first and show you what you're going to do first step. So the first step you're going to need is your binder. Now... The next thing you're going to need will be this computer paper. And this is the reason why I said about the computer paper that I would need. is because this little flap right here, you can actually put paper inside. And I like to design my front of my notebook. So I usually get this little um, computer paper at Dollar Tree. And then um, I just pick out whichever design I want. And then since this is going to be a hermit crab book, I'm going to write the word hermit crab on this piece of paper and then stick it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do so and then I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back and here it is. This is what it looks like. This is the reason why I absolutely love this binder kind. is because you can stick the piece of paper inside of there. And then it just makes it more designed and pretty looking for your hermit crab book. And I just wrote the word hermit crabs on the front on the piece of paper. And I thought it was pretty cool. And I used the color red on the marker. So it makes it, your notebook a little bit more designer and prettier, if you will, on, to make your book prettier, designed a lot more better. So that is the reason why I like these kind of notebooks with the flap. Now, I can probably find a different color uh, notebook, like pink, orange, or blue, in this but I'm not sure if they make ones that have the flap I would have to probably look more into that um, at Walmart next time but most of the time they're usually just the white ones but it's fine because I have this little pretty design right here in the front to make it more prettier so that is the first step that you would need to do and so that is done moving on to the next thing you would need your dividers right here and why you would need your dividers is because you would open your book up and then open your little things and then you're going to use your the dividers to put inside of your book. So I'm going to go ahead and get those and then I'll show you in a few minutes. Alright guys, I am back and I got the dividers. Now these are the dividers that I use. It's like, the, like a yellow color uh, divider and then it has each tab right here and they're clear. And I like these. These are my favorite kind. So you're just going to go ahead and stick these in the little ring binder holes. And then it also comes with these little white um, tablet things that you would put inside of those. And I'll show you in a minute what you would use these for. So we're going to go ahead and close this up. And then this is what it looks like now. So the next step will be for these little tablets. Now these things are for to write anything on to keep up with um, each tablet and each folder of which one is which. Now I use these for my hermit crab names. So what I would do is write each hermit crab name on there and then I would stick it inside the little um, tablet thing divider part and then I would have each hermit crab will have their own little divider. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Alright guys, I am back and here is all of my hermit crab names. Now, I only have six names here. I don't have the seventh name because the last hermit crab that I have, I never gave it a name yet. I'm still thinking of a name for the female hermit crab. So when I get that name for that hermit crab, I'll definitely part her in here. But right now, I just have the six names that I've already named my hermit crabs. So this is what you would do. You would just put each of their names on here and I usually put it in capital letters like this and then you just take the little um, pieces of paper and then you stick it inside the little hole right here 
and then so you just put it all the way through there we go being a pain in the butt okay there we go Okay, there we go. So that's, that is what it looks like. So then Minnie has her own little folder and then you just move on to the next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those in and then I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back and I put everybody's name inside their own little divider folder part. So we got Minnie, Rosie, Molly, Rocket, Coconut, and then the last one is leo and then he has his own little section on this side i do have extra so if i ever did decide to get more hermit crabs or anything like that i would have more dividers for them but that is what it looks like so it's simple and easy and then the next step is to design your hermit crabs little folder so this is what you would do is this is why i have the markers and the color pencils and also the stickers because what you're going to do is actually write down the name of your hermit crab in the front and then you go ahead and decorate it with the stickers so like i would put Minnie in the front and then i would take her st whatever sticker i want and put it on here so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll be right back all right guys i am back so i went on ahead and put Minnie's name in the front and I usually pick a different color for each hermit crab so Minnie got purple and this is her name Minnie in purple so I just took the marker purple and put her name on there and then since I have a purple um, owl I will give her the purple ones and put her stickers on there so that is what I usually do I usually whatever color stickers i have i usually match it with the markers so i have a pink one a blue one like a bluish green one a purple one and a yellow one now the yellow one is hard to put on here so usually i just go with orange to kind of mix kind of go with the orange to make it go a little bit better but it won't match it totally I mean, I could do yellow and yellow, but it wouldn't be good and it wouldn't show very well on this color um, divider. So usually I just do the yellow and then I usually pick the orange marker for that. So that's pretty much what you would do. So you would just take your stickers off like this. And then usually I put one right there. And then you would put another one right there and then usually I put one in the middle and it's just something easy to make it look more prettier and have design to it so I'm going to go ahead and put the other three on the bottom and then I'll be right back all right guys I am back and I have Minnie's purple stickers all on her little folder so hers is completely finished and this is what it looks like when it's done so it makes it look really nice and designed for your hermit crabs little information so I absolutely love this it's very cute and simple and it just makes it look more nicer and cuter so this is what I usually do so now moving on to the next thing when you have your front page designed in the way you like it you open it up and then you're going to need your uh, wide paper over there and that is the reason why I got that was because you're going to put some sheets of paper inside of here so we're going to go ahead and take out some of these papers just like a handful let me just rip this up really quick All right, so you're just going to take some of these papers. I usually just take maybe a little handful. It's probably more than 10. And then you're going to put those in your divider section. So you just slip them in there like this. All right, so that is hers. 
So that is what that looks like, and that's what you're going to do with those. And then moving on to the next thing will be to write some information down for Minnie or your hermit crab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and this is exactly what I did. The first one is going to be information, so it's going to be a little bit about your hermit crab. So I usually put home, and that means when you brought your hermit crab home. And then mini is a female, so I would put female, and then I would usually put small, medium, or large of what size hermit crab they are. The next thing I would put would be color, and usually I put the color of their body. So if they're like a light uh, purple, pinkish color, I'll usually put that. If they're like a dark purple or dark red color, then I'll put that. And then the next thing I would put will be buy. I will put what store I got them at. And she came from Petco, so I would put Petco. And then the next thing will be her body. Now, the body part, I would say, I would look at her body and make sure she has all of her legs and all of her pinchers. And if she does so, I usually just write down all legs and pinchers, good to go, and nothing's wrong with her and stuff like that. Now, if there was something wrong with her, like, say, um, when I got her, she had, like, a maybe, like, a little piece of leg chipped off or her pincher was kind of messed up then I would put that in there so then in the future when she would molt for me I could actually go back and look say okay when she first started with me and came home she had a missing piece of leg but now since she molted it came back so that was good information for you guys to remember now moving on to the next thing that I usually write down will be they're bathing. Now, I know in the comments, you guys always say this all the time. I get a comment saying about, you do not have to give your hermit crab a bath. They do it their own. But every once in a while, I only do it like once a month. Not even that. Maybe once a month to every other uh, month, I will give my hermit crabs at least one bath. Now, since I just started re I just redid this and I just started this over. So, I don't have any baths in here but when you do give your hermit crab a bath I like to write it down of when I did it so you would just put like say this is the month of July I will put July and then I would put the date and the date would be say the 25th or 26th I would put that and then I would put the year that I did it and that would be 2019 so that's what I would do and then the next time that you give your hermit crab a bath Whenever that is, you will put that on number two and then just keep on going down and down. So that would be the next thing I would do. Like I said, I don't give my hermit crabs bath very often, but when I do, I would like to write it down and keep up with it to make sure I don't give them too many baths. Moving on to the last thing that you would put in here will be their molting. Now, most of the time you guys can keep up with their molting and how many times they molt. But if you want to write it down to make sure um, you don't forget, just in case, you would always go ahead and put that down. So usually what I'll do is say if Minnie molted last month, that was June, I would put June. And then I would put the date that I believe that she went down and put that down there and then put the year of what year did she do it. And that would be 2019. And then usually underneath it, I would write how many days it took her to come back up. So if she went down and say she didn't come back for like six, six days, seven days, I would write down seven or six days of how many days that she was down. And then when she came back up, I would know. So in the future reference, in the future, when she molted again, I can write it down and then go back to it and say, okay, well, this time she wrote, she molted for seven days. The next time she molted for 10 days or on like that. It's just something that's easier for you guys to keep up with just to see how often your hermit crab molts and how long does it take them to molt. Because I do get questions a lot of how often does a hermit crab molt and if it's easier to write it down to figure out um, are they molting longer or less this time? And it's just easier to keep up with that. So that's what I do with the third page. Now I just have multiple more pieces of paper in here. So if this ever gets filled up, I can move on to the next page. The only page that would not be moved on would probably be this. 
but I was thinking about going to do one for every year. So I would put the year that I got her on this piece of paper and then I would go to the next year and make another one and put there and, and show. But I would probably say that I probably won't do that. This will probably be the only one that will be the first and only piece of paper that I would have. This one and the next one will probably be the multiple pieces of paper. Now, I was thinking about the fourth one could be um, shell change. You could put shells down and you can put like the color shell that she has right now is a painted shell. And say that she ever move out of that shell and go into a natural shell, I can write down, okay, well, she was in this shell for a year or two and she finally moved out and went into a green shell and I can keep up with that. That would be the fourth thing I would probably write down but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I wanted to see if it would be easier for me to keep up with the hermit crabs or not but right now I just have the molting, the bathing and then her information. So that is actually everything that you guys would need to put in your little binder notebook for your hermit crabs. So it's pretty simple and easy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!